You want to know what my Notion workflow is like? Mine? You want to know me? Mine? You don't... You don't want to know anyone else's, you want to know mine. I'm so touched. Thank you. You're too kind. So first of all, when I wake up in the morning, I go to my phone and as you can see, there's this little favorite section. So I'll open up the actions page and I'll say, first of all, oh God, look how early it is. And then I'll go, oh, okay. What do I got to do today? Okay. Let's check out the tasks I got for the day. Oh, my to-do list is this long as per usual. I can't wait to get to work. No, but seriously, I go here, I look, I take a glance and say, oh, what day is it? What do I got to do for my workouts for the day? And then I roll out of bed. I got my little cup of joe going. And then I go to my desk. And when I go to my desk, I then also go here. And you'll see that there is a nice little section that has the sort of today's meetings on here. And this is great because I get to have all the main things that matter for me in this section on my homepage. Now, this is also made with a situation that sorts based off what is most important. So I have a productivity method that I've talked about before on this channel, and it is time, trees, and priorities. And in this system, first and foremost, if it's at a, if something needs to be done at a certain time, I do it at that time without fault. I never mess it up, not once. And when that time thing is not a thing, then I should go in order of priorities. And this priorities system is based off of different trees in my life. So like Rice Productive is a tree, and then branches are like the subsections, so like sales funnels, and then roots are like, you know, is it client work? Is it content calendar? Is it a specific root, which is a like a recycling area of responsibility? If you've ever heard of the para method i basically stole it and gave it tree names because i like trees not those kind of trees Get your head out of the i don't want to say gutter because trees don't go into gutters besides leaves regardless it really does help to have my tasks prioritized based off of what my preferences are and then outside of just knowing what tasks i need to do in what order i do go to the planning section often and on this page you'll see that there is a very nice little view here which is filtered to assigned contains me and where the times within the past week or time is the next week. And the reason for that is Notion still doesn't have a weekly view, not mad. And what I can do here is I can plan the different items that I need to do in this nice calendar view. And I can also take a check at this capture box for all the different tasks that I've had ideas for that I haven't done yet because I have too much going on. But regardless, this is a great view for, for moving tests around. As you'll see, I have a bit of a back, backlog of an, like a secondary inbox that I keep pushing to different days when I have the time. And it is nice to have multiple views that you can switch between. So we got this actions page, which is great. We got this planning page, which is great. And we also have an inbox page that is really nice as well. So this is where I have my second brain inbox and my recent task inbox. So what have I recently put in? It's also a place where I can search through different things. So something that really Really does bother me about Notion is that, for example, if we look at this planning page and I search for course, I know for a fact next Monday there should be a million items here that have course. That loaded quickly, but there are some circumstances where these types of things do not show up quickly, and that is what this is for. So in this task search, if I go here, filter the name, and look up course, this gives me an idea of all the different tasks that I need to find based off of that naming convention. Now, if I wanted to go one step further, I can then put status is unchecked and date is not empty. And then from there, what you see is there's a bunch of different course ones that I now have in this list. The problem with the other way of doing it is the fact that, you know, after this is done, I can just press reset and it will get rid of this and go back to the old view that was just a task search. But when you're working with large sets of data in Notion and you wanna use this search functionality, I'm just gonna warn you that it doesn't work well. People have been lamenting Notion search functionality for a while, and I'm just gonna say it works smarter, not harder, and use the other parts of the functionality like filters, which is by and far away the best filtering system that I've ever seen in an application. Also within the system, I do go into my second brain pretty often and curate through the different ideas I have. As you can see in this past week, I did spend a lot of time trying to figure out oh, what do I do regarding all the different stuff I want to watch. I created this bucket list system, which I also go through on my phone. And what's really nice about it is that I can actually go through and check out all the different TV shows, movies, videos, and even coffee shops that I want to check out. There's a lot of 
new restaurants and coffee shops in the area and I definitely want to make the most of my time where I'm living and if you don't quite mark these things down you don't really get through that magical list in your head that's you know not really a bucket list because you didn't write any of it down and then the last thing I will say is I used to use this recurring task framework where essentially I'd have like a bunch of different things that would consistently show up here and I'd have to press this button and then I would drag them on the specific day of the week but now what I do is I actually use make.com and make.com automatically brings in things like this which is just podcast coverage for chance. So he used to edit the podcast, not so much anymore. So this is just me making sure that they're all scheduled and uploaded. And then for something like this, I do run an automation every week. And this tells me to buy groceries on Friday. And it all runs through this automation in make.com. I have one for personal and one for Rise Productive. So when I go into this, you'll see every week it has this huge spike in data. And that's because it's running this huge automation that takes a bunch of these different tasks. As you can see, this is marked as recurring task. And it tells me to buy groceries on Friday. Same with this due towels on Fridays as well. And while Notion doesn't have a full recurring task functionality yet, they have made recurring templates a thing. It only really works though with the created time property in my opinion. Let me know what your thoughts are on my Notion workflow and let me know what your thoughts are on this video right here.